it's Morgan from thecheekyhomemaker.com. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a one pot chicken recipe that I love so much it's actually referred to in our family as Morgan's favorite chicken. Hey guys, thanks for watching. So today I'm sharing my favorite chicken recipe with you. It's actually my mom's recipe. She's made it my whole life. And it is fork tender chicken with a rich, thick gravy, and it's absolutely delicious. You cook all the veggies right in the pot with the chicken, so it's a one-pot dish. It does take a tiny bit of planning because you do need to cook it for about an hour, but otherwise it's super simple, and you just kind of put it on and forget it until dinner time. And we're going to be serving it over some white egg noodles. You could also serve it over some rice. So I have some boneless, skinless chicken breast here. You could do chicken on the bone, or breasts on the bone. Um, I haven't tried it with dark meat, but I'm sure that would work too. I basically just chopped it up into some smaller pieces. It's one package of chicken that I did. It had three breasts in it, um, smallish, from Costco. Um, anyhow, the amount of chicken doesn't have to be exact. One package would be fine. A little more than that also would be fine. But you just chop it up um, so that it's you know maybe two pieces per breast instead of one whole breast if they're large. And I'm browning it right now in a little bit of butter with some salt and pepper and nothing else. So the next thing we're going to be adding is some mushrooms. So I'm going to get to chopping those while I talk about the rest of the ingredients here. Um, we're going to be putting some carrots in here. Another thing that's great to put in here is onions. My family, unfortunately, isn't a big fan of the onions in here. So since I'm the only one that would eat them, I don't really bother to break down an entire onion just for that. But um, you could put pretty much anything you would put in a pot roast or a flank steak would be really good in here. I wouldn't try potatoes because I don't know that it cooks long enough, but any other vegetable um, that you would you know, normally have in, in a nice rich gravy like that would be really great in here. So I'm just going to break these mushrooms down into quarters because this is going to be cooking for a long time. I don't want them to completely turn to mush on me. And then the last ingredient that we're going to be using here is golden mushroom soup. Not cream of mushroom, but golden mushroom soup. So I have this Campbell's golden mushroom soup, soup here, and it's a condensed soup. So one can goes quite a long way. And one thing I'll tell you about this soup is, first of all, it's absolutely delicious. It's delicious on this chicken dish. It's delicious to do over a flank steak. It just makes a rich, thick gravy. It's always a crowd pleaser. The only downside is it does contain MSG. I try to avoid MSG whenever possible. Um, occasionally with especially recipes that are comfort foods for me, I do cook with it um, if it's you know in the golden mushroom soup. But each to their own. If you are strongly opposed to MSG, we have, my mom and I both have done this recipe with uh, chicken broth instead. And it does come out great. The gravy won't be as thick, but the chicken will still be tender. You'll still have a, a thinner but sauce that you can put over the pasta or the rice to kind of pull the whole meal together. It's really delicious. So as soon as this chicken is done browning, I'm going to flip it over and I'll show you how we assemble everything. All right, so my chicken is nicely browned on the first side. So as you can see here, it's still pretty much completely raw on the top side. We're going to flip it over and we're going to finish assembling the dish here. It doesn't need to be super brown, just developing a little bit of flavor. So I've turned the stove down a little bit here. I'm going to start throwing in my mushrooms and my carrots. And as you can see, I leave the carrots whole. This is going to be cooking for long enough that they will be completely cooked. They'll be delicious, just like pot roast carrots. Okay, now it's time for the golden mushroom soup. So what I'm going to do is put this into a bowl here. The whole can goes in. And then I'm going to fill this can up all the way with water and put it in this bowl also. You really do want to use the can to fill back up because that way the leftover soup in there gets used and kind of rinsed out also. And I'm going to gently mix this up so that we don't have chunks of soup and areas of water. 
probably should have used a bigger bowl here. I'm just going to pour it over top. Next we're going to throw the lid on this baby and in about an hour to even probably up to an hour and a half would be fine. You don't want to do under an hour because the chicken will still be a little bit tough. But I put it on a regular size burner all the way on low with the lid on for about an hour and then check on it if it's not quite tender enough you can let it go a little bit longer or if you forget about it because you're a busy mom like me, it's not a big deal. Just before you're ready to serve this, you will want to cook up a little bit of white egg noodles or some white rice. Either way, you'll want to butter it and then serve this either next to it or over top. My husband and I prefer it over top. My four-year-old prefers it on the side because she likes to be kind of picky about which bite she's combining and which she's not. So, yes, four-year-old moms know what I'm talking about. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and you'll try it at home. Please let me know in the comments if you do. I'd love to know how you like it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos coming up. I have more great recipes coming your way as well as a finance series that I'm doing and basically all things homemaking and parenting. You can also find me at thecheekyhomemaker.com as well as on Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram at thecheekyhomemaker. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon. Bye.